Good afternoon everyone. I am dressed in an outfit that I wore in my last vlog. Um, this is one of the pieces from my Amazon haul. Um, I'll link it in the description box down below. But I am dressed, I am packed, and I am ready to head on our next little trip. We are heading for a long weekend in Norfolk and um, we've booked a really lovely house. We booked this ages ago now, I think, and there's a group of us going and I've got a magnum of Whispering Angel, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. <laughs> no, um, we're staying in this really, really beautiful old house in Norfolk and we've just got a few like restaurants booked and a few days to just chill and relax and enjoy ourselves. We've packed the board games, we've got Double, Mr. and Mrs, Who's in the Bag, Oh, it is gonna be a riot. <laughs> no, I'm really, really excited. It's just nice to get away, isn't it, with people and just let your hair down a little bit. So um, I've packed my entire wardrobe because I always pack for every eventuality, but I don't even know what type of trip this is because it's just, it's just a, we're just kind of winging it. So I've got a whole suitcase, a whole doll, and every single pair of boots that I own, and a million outfits as well. But um, it's gonna be a lovely, lovely day. We are setting off a little bit later than planned, but it's absolutely fine. We're gonna load up the car now, drive down or up or across to Norfolk, wherever we're going. Geography, not my strong point. Um, and we're gonna get there, although it's looking like it could be a bit of a nightmare drive because Ali just drove past the M1 and it was, very, very busy. So yes, it's probably gonna be a little bit of an annoying drive, but it's fine. We've got our usual house sitters coming in, which is gonna be lovely for Porter, because he's he's sadly not coming with us, but you know, he's, uh, he's used to it now. He's totally happy with having just anyone around. I think he had um, my family stay the last time before, and um, oh my gosh, Porter is just obsessed with my stepmom. He is absolutely obsessed. Uh, I think it's because she always brings him treats. She literally spoils him so much. But anyway, we're gonna pack up. Ali's just closing up his suitcase and head to Norfolk. Or is it Suffolk? I don't know. It says Suffolk in my diary, but I think it's Norfolk. Norfolk. <laughs> Why does it say group trip to Suffolk then? So you consider that location. Oh, so we're going to Norfolk. Everyone's been saying, so where are you going? I'm like, it could be Suffolk. It could be Norfolk, who knows? <laughs> well, the emergency hula hoops are gone. <laughs> what were you just doing? Nothing. You're licking your fingers. <laughs> and we are still, how many, an hour and a half at least away, do you think? I think it's about an hour and 40, 45. And Ali has well and truly got the 80s classics blaring in the car no, no. for some reason. I like 80s. Honestly, like you just, you never know what Ali is in the mood for. He could be like, cheesy 90s classics he could be dr dre and snoop dogg oh, yeah. he could be classic fm you just never know what you're gonna get what well, mood like chill yeah he, well no but i put chill on and it was like a um you put LBC on. no i put chill on and then i put lbc on because chill was like an actual headache so no chill no chill no chill um but we are one hour and 39 minutes from our destination that's where we are with beach. We have arrived to the village. We're about four minutes from the house. We're in Blakeney. Blakeney. And it's been actually, this last bit has been a really lovely drive, but it looks like they've got a bit of a Not development too. going on here. False alarm, that was not our village. Just testing the waters there. Um, we're two minutes away, so we should be there very, very soon. Two minutes. It's been four hours. <laughs> okay, now we've arrived. We are in clay next the sea. And this looks so cute. Oh my gosh, the Pinkfoot Gallery. <gasps> Made in clay. <gasps> this is so cute. This is proper Norfolk stone. Oh wow, yeah, the flint and, oh, this is too adorable. Oh, well done me. <laughs> Look at this pub. That oh, this is lovely. too adorable. This is the village. The village. Clay windmill, so it must literally just be here because the windmill's down there. This, yeah, there's the windmill. That's so I think the house is here. This is it here. Yeah. 
Ah, yes. This is the house that we're we staying park? in. Uh, I don't know. That's a very good, a very good question. Okay, we've come in. Apparently, this is the bit first. They're showing. I don't think this is. This is lovely. Okay, maybe not the pink, the pink IKEA lights. But no, I think this is very cute. Look. This is the little laundry room. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I love a pantry. Oh, stop it! Look at this. Oh, I love that. And the little cooking apple tree outside. So this is what I've seen, because this is a, I can't remember if it's a plain English or a Duval kitchen that does these center islands. But it's one of them, oh my gosh, look. This is so cute. Look at the windows. Oh, it's so nice. Oh wow, oh my gosh, the light in here. This is so beautiful. Almost fell down the stairs. Huge fireplace. Oh, oh my gosh, that little like apothecary chest is so cute. And then... I love this hallway. This was honestly my favourite thing when I saw it on Airbnb. I was like, this, this staircase just reminds me of the one at Aimho with it when it's Yeah, like a mini version. Yeah. I love that light up there as well. This is the dining room. Oh wow. Bold. It is bold, but I feel like in houses like this you can get away with it. But I love that they've like put the picture in the panelling. How interesting. This is very, very cool. They could definitely have a bigger table in here though. What's this? A little cute. Oh, taxi like dummy. Oh wow, this is so cute. I love this. Yeah, it's nice. I love these stairs though. Yeah. Wow, what a hallway. I love this banister. Oh my goodness. So this is one bedroom and bathroom. One bedroom. Oh, this is too sweet. Can I oh, like, oh and it's opposite the bookshop. Hello. Look at that. That is too cute. Literally we pulled into this village and I was like, stop it. Um Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? They're all really nice, to be fair. You can't Look at this view. Oh my goodness, in fact, I'm going to... So, people live in that, that windmill? No, no, it's a hotel. Oh, wow, that's a hotel. Yeah, oh my goodness, I love this little library area as well. Oh, so cute. How cute. Literally, this is just me going, how cute. <laughs> so, this is the top floor. Little trunk, but apparently... They've got, oh wow, look at that view. Look at that. Oh, the cows, and we're right by the water. Oh, it's too pretty. This is the third bedroom. I'm guessing that they say four bedrooms, but one of the sofas must like yeah, come probably. out as a thingy. But this is so lovely. Although, oh no, it's, it has got a shower. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Wow, there are some beautiful houses here. Very lovely. So cute. Our first meal of the holiday is in the oven. We have a very interesting baker's oven in here and the dishwasher underneath. And we have just set the table. We've been having crisps, olives. I mean, I've definitely not had any olives, but I've definitely had some hummus. And we've set the table in here. Charlie has lit candles. He brought candles from home. <laughs> I love this. So the house smells amazing. And then we pop the cosmos on the table here, but this is where we're gonna have dinner tonight. How gorgeous is this? Good morning. It is day one in Norfolk and we are about to get up and get dressed and head for a walk. So this is the location of the house. So this is the house that we're staying in. And then there are other houses either side. Lots of lovely little pink houses as well. We are opposite the local bookshop, which is absolutely adorable. I love this. Best loved poems of John Betjeman. <laughs> English ballet. I love it. It is too cute here. And that, I think, right down there is the coast, from what I can imagine. But this is honestly like the most gorgeous little town ever. We've found the local bakery, which apparently has award-winning bread. <gasps> this is so 
cute. So this is the view of the uh, windmill that we can see from our window behind. And we're walking across the paths now, which is blooming lovely. Come on guys, hurry up. <laughs> We've literally just been waiting like half an hour for Abby to join us. Because he's taking pictures of all of the wildlife, of course, my wholesome husband. <laughs> the sun has just started to come out and we weren't prepared for the fact that we were walking all the way to um, Blakeney. So I've worn my MS boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, but we've got some very lovely views. I'm gonna go and get some coffee and potentially some food and then get a cab back. <laughs> so let's, not Can. Yeah, one let's do one a quarter. Oh, wow, Isle of look at White, that. Isle of White is one of my list. Oh, yeah. my Isle goodness. Of White. Shot here for the yeah. I feel like in my vlogs, it's always like I bring the tone down, but we just walked past a cottage called Clinker Cottage. And uh, Josie was like, do you know what a clinker is? And I was like, isn't it a little bit of food? <laughs> just specifically <laughs> stuck to a sausage dog's bottom hair. <laughs> Is that something that we've made up or is that something that your mum have made up? No, I think I know that that's what it is. If you also use the term clinker, let us know yeah, down yeah. in the comments. If you watch to the end of this vlog, <laughs> leave it a hashtag clinker. It's <laughs> <laughs> Ali's favourite book, Biff, Jib and Gipper. <laughs> have you completed that set yet, Ali? <laughs> we were just saying that we needed some chutney for the evening, so we're going to go and find some. Do we go down? Yeah. Okay. Do not steal from the shed. Oh wow, okay, so we've got um, rich spiced plum chutney, sweet tomato and celery chutney, apple and tomato chutney. Oh my god, they've literally got everything. So we picked up some Blakeney pickled onions and also strawberry and gooseberry jam, Blakeney pear, apple and tomato chutney for tonight's cheese. Oh, is that, is that tomorrow's cheese board? Tomorrow's cheese board. Tomorrow's cheese board. We have just found a reclamation yard. To be honest, I've got enough of those pots at home. <laughs> Lovely little wagon wheels. I love these things because I feel like you can go around like three different times and you'll see something different every single time. Oh, that's a lovely little corner cupboard though. Yeah. That that's beautiful. That's um, one of our neighbors has one in her kitchen. Yeah. The thing is, there are some real gems here. Like, there are things in here. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. But it's just not Look good. at the size of these scales. Even, even this for a is quite Oh, good. that is beautiful. Nice, oh my gosh, that's so you If you gave that a um, sand down. Yeah. <gasps> oh, wow. That is actually. That is stunning. We are now back at the house and it is bacon sandwich time. And we've decided that the garden is the perfect location for lunch. Eggs and bacon in a brioche bun. Good for me. Bacon is good for me. Beautiful. Charlie Irons is making full use of the kitchen. Yeah. Bacon, brioche buns. Looks very professional in here, Charlie. Well, I hope it tastes right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> We've made it to Holcomb Beach, and my husband has just carried me in my Hermes. Uh, oh, sorry, in my Hermes boots um, over the water here. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> but we have come to Holcomb Beach, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of little like streams, obviously. Um, feed its way from down to the ocean and uh, to the walk to the sea and <laughs> Charlie doing the exact same <laughs> much quicker that was my mode of transport it was wonderful <laughs> so we can see a few very dark clouds but we have wine and we have good good company and we have a couple of towels as well so I'll wrap some towels around my boots so that they don't get ruined um, my boots Shut up, Charlie. <laughs> Schlitz. Schlitz wears Hermes boots Love to the beats. <laughs> oh dear. It's like, it's like that person that asked your story the other day. What was and it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Who has 600 pounds on a belt? It's like, me. <laughs> and also, 20 other people on one day. <laughs> So basically Charlie's mission of this this escapade here, is that, is that a word? Es escapade. Escapade to the beach is to cover Carrie's La Roche Posay under the sand. So we've just popped a... a, a <laughs> 
Hang on, no, we'll do a fake one. Yeah. She'll what if think this it's cracks? this one. What if this cracks and then we cut someone? She'll think, no, no, no. No, no we'll no, take it out. We'll be safe. Yeah, safety she first. She won't know which one it is. No. God, we really are. Oh, oh yeah, wow, look at that. And oh then my I can make this into... <laughs> this is honestly... This is the... the look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> look at the chin! <laughs> the chin! <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Blurry foreground. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of bokeh. Bokeh, isn't it? Is it? Oh, no, no, a bit of bokeh. Bokeh. Look away. You just... <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Right it's going to give me a hernia. <laughs> oh, Charlie. I didn't Charlie have to that. <laughs> we are such children. <laughs> we have just finished up at the beach and uh, the tide has started coming in so Ali's got a long schlog ahead <laughs> carrying me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We are currently walking back to the car and um, you might hear the sounds of Fleetwood Mac coming from Ali's backpack but what you didn't hear is all of the songs that we've been playing on Bluetooth that he hasn't known that we are playing. So Greatest Showman has been blaring from the back of Ali's backpack for the majority of the journey back to the car. <laughs> we've been doing the dance moves obviously. So I wasn't actually able to show you my outfit in our room because the lighting is so bad, but Miss Carrie Grayson has that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. I'm guessing they just played the game where you have the, you go like this and if you stick your finger in the hole, you win the game. I'm guessing. Um, but no, this is my outfit. The, the lighting in my room is not very good. So Carrie has brought this beautiful mirror out into what is the upstairs living area. Um, this is my dress that I purchased from Matches Fashion. It's by a brand called AJ or AJ or AJ. I have no idea. It's literally AJE with an accent on the E, I think. I might have made the accent up though. But it's this beautiful sage colour, darted, cinched in waist with a beautiful bow, big voluminous sleeves, and I just feel like it's very, very like elegant and flattering. I actually haven't done my hair since I've been here, so it's kind of just... Um, you are such a nightmare! You're a wind-up! <laughs> Him stomping up the stairs. I'm wearing my favourite Jimmy Choo strappy shoes as well. I've actually just said to Carrie that I want to get these in black. I've got them in the burnt orange as well. And I also have my petite mal bag, which this is probably one of the best clutch bags I have because I feel like it elevates every single outfit so so well like it just looks like you're carrying around a little piece of history you can probably hear the sounds of london grammar playing we've got them blaring downstairs but we are heading to a restaurant that ali's dad has recommended to us and it looks blooming wonderful but we've all kind of got dressed up this evening and put on our beautiful stuff i was literally wearing leggings and a jumper all day today so it's nice to be dressed up however i have literally slept on this hair and it's partially straight and partially wavy but we're just gonna pretend like that's not the case but i love this brand it's so beautiful we have arrived to the gunton arms apparently there are deer in here which is actually quite scary when it's dark <laughs> but this is very very lovely here i'm gonna go in and have some food Hopefully. Oh my gosh, you can see their eyes looking at us. This is nuts. So we've just come out of the um, out of the restaurant, and I don't know if you can see, but those eyes just there. He has the, the biggest horns 
I have ever seen. <gasps> this is so eerie. Good morning, everyone. Oh, you're a little bit dirty. Let me give you a clean. A bit better. I am wearing the dress that I was wearing last night, but I felt like it didn't have enough of a, a part in this story. So I decided that I was gonna wear it today. We have come to Burnham Market today and it looks so adorable. The guys are just getting out of the car. Um, we've just parked up around the corner, but um, we've just lucked out with this weather so much. And so we're gonna explore all of the shops here. We're also having lunch here and it's just gonna be a very chilled and lovely day. But I'm wearing my Arj or RJ, Arj. No accent on the E, like I said. A little bit of house porn and I was just saying how much I love olive trees. They are just so perfect. We have the fire on and we've just finished up, well we actually haven't finished up playing Border Dash. I'm currently winning with 15 points, um, not to blow my own trumpet but it's true. And we are planning our food, having a little bit of picky bits, the bread is in the oven. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. It is our final morning here in Norfolk and of course we are having a very lovely breakfast that I have not helped out with whatsoever. I can't take any credit, it's gonna be lovely. Maybe I'll do the water and I can take credit for that. We have just finished breakfast and it is our last day here. We are on our way to to Holcomb Hall, Holcomb Hall, H Holcomb Hall? Um, but we've had a bit of a diversion this morning which has set us back. So we're, we're currently driving through some very scenic um, countryside villages, which is lovely. It's so pretty around here. It really is. I absolutely love the flint and brick houses. They just look so beautiful and they use so many, like so many of the gardens have those like willow woven fences, which I just think is so, so nice. But we are currently driving in convoy and um, heading there. It's been raining all morning, which is sad, but we have really kind of lucked out with the weather whilst we've been here. Um, so we're hoping it'll be dry when we get there. If not, we're gonna look around Hogan Hall, like the actual property. If it is obviously not raining, then we'll do the gardens and things like that. And then we are going to head back home. And um, it's been a lovely stay. We've checked out of the Airbnb, which was lovely. And we are all set to just kind of head home from here. Obviously, I'm very, very excited to see the fur kids. They've had a whale of a time. Um, with the people that look after our house whilst we're away and I'm looking forward to snuggling them and I'm also looking forward to my bed because I know I say it I think on every video when we go away somewhere but our mattress oh my goodness it is another level isn't it my shoulder hurts because I'm a side sleeper and the mattress that we've been sleeping on is really really hard and my shoulder hurts yeah. And Ali is doing what he does every single time when we go away and he enjoys himself too much um, because now he's very tired and so he's making me make a pact with him that we're going to go to bed early from today. Yeah. So what time are we going to be in bed by this evening? This evening it'll be 
9 30 to 10 p.m you want to be in bed even though most evenings we don't have dinner until like 8 39. yeah so, so that needs to change. yes that needs to change as well so what i really think is that what needs to change is how late mr mill and gordon works in the evenings that's the real change anyway is this bit oh we're going through blakeney at the moment which is very very lovely okay. yeah we have this is the one that I was like, ah, this is where we're staying, and it's not where we're staying. We've just done a very, very large loop to get past uh, the road closure. But even the new builds around here, I love it when a place makes sure that the new builds fit in with the, traditional, the properties. traditional properties. Obviously, there's always one or two people that seem to get planning permission through the net <laughs> and build something horrendous. But yeah, that, that's so nice. There was like a really lovely flint and brick development there. And it was really nice. Very, very nice. We have arrived to Holcomb Hall and it looks like the sunshine has come out to play. How lovely. Oh, look how beautiful these cottages are. Wait, the gatehouse? Yeah. Houses. Love, love the colour of green as well. We have just been discussing the rather funny use of this particular building. This is the ice house where they would import ice from America and Scandinavia to England. <laughs> oh dear, it does make me laugh at the thought of it, but that is obviously before we had anything like refrigerators and whatever. Although I'm wondering if TW Coke invented Coca-Cola. Nature Boy has been off filming the white stag. Cannot keep Ali away from anything nature or animal related. It's because apparently they are the ones that have been ejected from the group, so they are, um, they're not, they've not found like mates or anything. Well, them too. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, bless them. Yeah, they're, I think they're mates. Like, as in friends, because they've both not managed to be like the dominant ones, so they've been cast away. Like, but I said to them, I was like, do you think he knows that he's like the beautiful one? Like, come on, I'm the white heart stag. Yeah, Look I'll at me, ladies. I'll have to give you a video to stitch in over yeah. the top. Wow. Yeah, Just the, there, the right. I'll put in the, um, I'm trying not to tread on the deer poo. Um, we will insert the picture of Ali's oh, filming of the stag. Yeah, and then we're having a little schnooze. We are now heading to the walled garden because I spotted that a mile off. Yeah, but it is Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ground nesting birds. Oh, yeah, love it. That's what you want. Oh, I always get so much inspiration when I come to places like this. But look, I can't believe that. That is unreal. So it's got like this really grand, dramatic front, and then they've made the back of it into a greenhouse. I would give anything to look around that. So we have come to the walled garden at Holcomb Hall. And basically this is obviously a very, very grand structure that they are adding a greenhouse onto the back of at the moment. We walked up and we thought, oh gosh, this doesn't look very nice. And then we've seen they've got a lovely horse box here. And then through here, there is their walled gardens with what looks like a whole host of greenhouses. And I cannot wait to get in there. Oh my goodness, every time I come somewhere, I think it can't possibly be more beautiful than the last. And then it is. So it looks like they are doing a bit of a renovation job here in their kitchen garden, because this is by far the biggest kitchen garden I have ever, ever seen. This isn't a kitchen garden. This is a fully working garden. And look at this, it's just, obviously they've, they've had wooden or oak greenhouses that have disintegrated over the years 
and uh, they're obviously starting to rebuild them but look at how beautiful that is wow so I think this is the most incredible thing that I've seen they've basically made their sweet pea structure out of obviously felled branches and sticks so the sweet peas which I'm not a huge fan of sweet peas I think they look a little bit messy after a while cosmos on the other hand I love um, but they'll basically grow up and they've done two of them and then they've got this beautiful rustic very abstract although I'm not sure about the cable ties um, but it just looks phenomenal I wonder if you can go in the oh they don't let you go in oh how sad it's for staff oh because it's an un but look at that oh my god Ali come and look at the the vines in here oh yeah that's a lovely look at that look at that stem I know wow. that's very established isn't it No, 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 look. Oh, the, oh, um, yes, they, oh, they're dried. Oh, wow, oh, it's such a shame. at the moment, but that's a much better idea. It's <laughs> such a shame that you can't get in, uh, get in there and have a look. Yeah, okay. Up and underneath. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be magical. Yeah. The big onions, aren't they? Oh, all the pumpkins. Where? Really? Yeah, big white ones. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look I at the, I know, there. it's so sad that we can't go in there. We have officially found the loan and, oh no, look, there's another one over the oh other side. Goodness, that one's still partially green. Wow. And a white one the same size here. Oh my goodness. Are these called ghost pumpkins? Wow. And a baby. Little baby. I want to go see the speckly one down the other side. So fluffy. That one does look like chicken wing, doesn't it? Yes. Mm. Wow, look how fluffy he is. It's, it's like he's wearing a feather you know what, boa. This really makes me not want to. Field to fork. Wow. We have discovered the vineyard. Yeah, and definitely. it is actually probably one of the most beautiful vineyard setups I think I've ever seen because everything is just so perfectly, perfectly pruned and placed. We've come to get some food. And uh, Charlie is getting water, potentially some pastries from here. I think. Josie, are you getting a duck, crispy duck wrap? I think so. I'm yes. Gonna get a burrito. We're going to get crispy duck wraps from Duck Truck. Sounds very delicious. We are about halfway into our journey home, and basically, my dad has been helping me with. I'm just trying to find the vintage defender I think I mentioned it like a couple of times in my in my vlog but my dad has basically said that he would help me find the one that I want and weirdly on the way home he's sent through a place that happens to be on the way to our house so it's like literally not out of the way in any way shape or form and so we thought it's still a good hour and a half from our house we're not going to want to just come out this way to go to it to go and have a look around and <laughs> yeah it should be quite interesting we've literally just got into the area of where it is but I've had a look on their website it looks like they've got a lot of different options and of the one that I've like kind of been interested in so we're gonna go and have a look around I'm not gonna get carried away I'm saying this officially here on my video I'm not gonna get carried away um, but it looks very very exciting we phoned ahead I think we've got about when we arrive we'll have about 40 minutes until they close so we should be able to get a good whip around and have a look around well this place looks a little bit snazzy, snazzy. so this is the entrance to where we're going to look at the cars very very beautiful isn't it this little boulevard of trees oh wow <gasps> there's so many oh my goodness sold, sold. that's literally it isn't it oh so cute. Oh, and it's got the mahogany steering wheel as well. Yeah. See, I really do like this colour. Yes, it's nice. As well. I see this has got... That's long wheel based. Yes, but it's got the, the, the mahogany steering wheel as well. Yeah, stunning. Oh. We're in. We're in. Yeah, lovely. Oh my gosh, it smells like an old car as well. Oh my gosh, this smells like my nonno's Cinquecento. That's honestly what his, his Cinquecento smelt like. He must have had that for like 50 years. I <laughs> oh, see so that's got the permanent bench in it on the... Ah, uh, yes. On the floor. So you'd be able to like take... I'm like, can you take people in the back of that? 
Uh, it's the seat belts, yes. I don't know. Right. Yes. So, this one has got heaters. Hasn't got heated seats though. Um, well, it turns we don't know what they are. No, they're just stuff. They're blanks. Yeah. So it's not got heated seats, but it does have heater. Yes. <laughs> Has no. got a radio. Some of them, and he said, has lights. air con and heated seats. These are the older ones. Yeah, so we would do a re refurb job on this one. This I love because of the colour. Because this is like the colour of our kitchen island. And then with this sort of like canvas roof, I just think it's so nice. Well, I'm looking more and more dishevelled as I come on this camera, but my hair desperately desperately needs a wash but we are minutes from home um, it was really good actually going to the car garage because it gave us much more of an idea of what it is that we're looking for and um, it was very inspiring I loved it they literally had every single type of defender you could ever imagine it was very very exciting but now it's time to get home to Portlini and Lumini Lemon Squeeny <laughs> been having fun, doesn't he? He's chewed through your collar. He you needs a new collar. You know, licking your mummy. Look, your collar's all ruined. Oh, my little boy. Little Lumi's having breakfast and you're about to have some too. Look at you going to see your daddy, little sausage. Oh, we've got this one. Where's she gone? This one round here. But... I'm already into my comfies. Lumi's going to come and say hello as well. You come in to say hello? Yes, you are, you little puss puss. Um, I thought I would show you the items. Just We bought a few little silly things when we were in Norfolk. Just basically little, like, what, what would you call them? The things that we bought? Oh, so no, that's not the word I'm looking for. Bits and bobs. Yeah, but that's, I've, I've said that, but it's kind of like what you buy, like, when you go on oh, holiday, you like little... Well, they're not. No, they're okay. Really. Well, yes, anyway, so I bought this thing. This is actually from Garden Trading, but I've wanted to order them for a while because I always really struggle when I'm baking or cooking or anything with um, having the right measurements for things like uh, teaspoons and tablespoons and things like that. So this is a really beautiful china little spoon set. So I thought I would probably use that quite a lot. So I just picked it up. It was in like a Norfolk living shop or something like that. Then, uh, as we were saying, the the gift shop at Holcomb, Holcomb? Holcomb Hall is actually really, really lovely. And the first thing that I picked up was this blanket. They called it a rug, but it's definitely a blanket. Forty thinks it's something for him. And it probably will be for you because it's a lovely little blanket. And you like to adopt the expensive blankets, don't you? It's a really lovely colour. Fits very much in with our decor. It's very dark green. Little bits of red and black through it. Little tassels. Just a really beautiful, a beautiful blanket. And it's very nice and soft as well, considering it is wool. And the other thing that I picked up was a little tiny like bud vase by a ceramicist and I actually I didn't I'd never heard of her it might have been cat something but I just love this for like a little posy of flowers it's just and it's got this kind of green speckled tinge to it and I just really liked it so it'll probably look a bit beige on camera but it's got this green tinge 
And the moment that I saw it, it's not for you, Porter. Can't stand it. Um, I just thought whenever I get little posies of flowers or I'm using the last bits of like a bunch of flowers. What? What are you crying for? She just wants to be involved. So that was one thing that I got. And then I picked up another vegetable brush. These are things that you can get anywhere. But I use these a lot, especially on my carrots. And um, it's actually a really good size brush. So I've like used it to clean like the sink down. And I thought I should probably get one that's just for vegetables. So seeing as that was there, that was just convenient. But it was a really lovely gift shop with all of these really beautiful trinkets, basically. And then we saw these and we could not resist because this is one of the things that we haven't got in our bedroom that we thought was quite funny. We really need hooks for our towels or our um, dressing gowns. And we thought that these were very, very fitting for both of us. So this one says his lordship and the other one says her ladyship. And I just thought that that was very, very lovely. Obviously you could probably buy these for your dogs and put their leads on them, but we are going to use them for ourselves. Um, and then I think that was it. That was everything that I got. In Norfolk, we're both very tired because I feel like you go away nowadays and you have so much fun that you're really, really tired when you come back. So you like need a holiday from your holiday. But I actually really, really loved um, seeing Norfolk because I'd heard a lot about it. I'd heard like a lot about it being called like Chelsea on Sea and places like that. I don't know if we actually went to where they consider it Chelsea on Sea, but clay next, clay next to the sea, clay next to the sea, next to the sea it's very hard to say it's probably one of the most beautiful coastal towns i've ever visited and the really lovely thing about it was that it was quite quiet i think i said when we went to wales ali and i really like places that almost just feel like you're who are you crumbling at <laughs> Yeah, it just kind of felt like a really lovely village away um, at the seaside rather than it being like full of um, like holiday makers and tourists. And I'm sure it does get busy and we're probably going quite late in the season, but it was just really lovely. Lots of people that were like walking and running because obviously the coast paths are really lovely as well. And I loved, loved, loved the like building materials that they use. I think I've mentioned it as well, like the flint and the brick just was such a lovely touch. And they just, everything just looked so beautiful there. It was so picturesque. I spent half of the time on right move because I just love looking at houses in the locations I go to. But I would highly recommend it. And we went to some really, really good places like, oh yeah, so we went to the Gunton Arms, which was really, really cool. And the food was really delicious. And, that, and Ali's dad basically told us about that place. So we tried to book there. And it was quite difficult. So definitely say book in advance. There and was another place that Carrie tried to book. Yes. Before. I also have messages from people and Josh. What was that called? called Socius. It's S O C I U S. Socius. 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 Something like that. Yeah. We tried to put there, we couldn't get anything. I beg your pardon. <laughs> he does this all the time. This is the basket of fun. <laughs> and so he just sits there and barks for different toys to be brought out, don't you? up here like what on earth is going on this is not a noise that i like at all her ears go back sorry my battery died then and um but basically ali was saying that carrie tried to book socius like two months in advance we couldn't get it and then we went to number what was it number what in we went to what, number 29 in Burnham Market um, and that was really lovely. We went for a roast dinner there, so that was good. But a lot of the time, especially whilst we were away, Charlie would cook, Charlie and Carrie would cook breakfast for us. And we did on like yesterday evening, we did like picky bits in front of the fire and it was lovely. And by the way, I also won at Balderdash 
which I basically came up with this strategy that the more convincing that you can make it by using sort of like the terminology that you would think that you would find when people were referring to, to something. So I think one of the things I said was um, something that sounded like it could, could be to do with arachnophobia. So I had to make up the meaning of the word. Um, but it also sounded like if you were to eat something. So I um, used the word like ingest or something. So it meant that I got three people voting for me because I used the fancy words. <laughs> And so I ended up winning by miles. I ended up with like 15. We actually didn't finish the game. And I think that that was a tactical thing because they were upset that I was winning. <laughs> um, but it was my first time playing as well. So it was very good. But we had a really, really lovely time. And um, I'm very tired now. So we are trying to, we're saying what we do every weekend. Ali says every weekend that we are going to change our habits and we are going to go to bed early. So Ali is hoping that we are going to be asleep by 9.30 in a change in our new routine. I would like to go to bed early anyway, so that I can get up and run. So um, that is the plan of action for the day. But it was very, very lovely. Anyway, that is it from me in this vlog. I am going to enjoy very much washing my hair tomorrow and I am going to go to bed and jump into my bed, my very comfy bed. Oh, if you are in the market for, for a mattress, I've, I swear to gosh, swear to gosh, I am going to one day stop going on about how much I love my mattress, but the Sleep Easy G, what is it called, G4 or something mattress? It is, it is just the best. I can't wait to get into bed. I can't wait.